Hello, Tim Eck here from Ectech. I wanted to show you guys my home water setup here, my water wonderland, where I uh, go from tap water all the way to some of the best Ormus trap water. And it actually splits it up into three different waters here. We'll show you at the end. Let me just go through everything briefly, and there'll be links below on uh, everything on more specifically what everything does. Um, so as you can see, normal tap water here until I switch this uh, diverter here to go into my my system. This follows into the first round of the three here. Uh, it's a uh, just a regular carbon filter, and then the next two. The next two ones here, this is my green laser so I can show you what I'm talking about. These are all active alumina, alumina, active alumina, so they get rid of fluoride. Um, uh, they say uh, one of these gets rid of 95% fluoride, and that the longer that it's in the active alumina, that the more fluoride it's going to get rid of. So now I got two. So make sure I get rid of all the fluoride. And yeah, this is just a basic carbon one first, carbon filter that uh, you know gets rid of all the uh, basic stuff so that's my first first round right here is these three so we got carbon then alumina alumina getting rid of uh, the fluorides and all the fun stuff and that goes into the CDS right here this Hanish water filter this is a little bit more higher class filter this gets rid of all the uh, micro particle stuff down to the point zero one mile you know all that stuff Gets rid of the pharmaceuticals, the uh, all that, all the bad stuff in the water. So uh, if, uh, this is basically like you know the the hardcore stuff, you know, the, and this gets the more finer stuff here. Um, so uh, a lot of this is pretty much a system all in by itself. But um, the CTS, um, but uh, it doesn't get fluoride. So I wanted to make sure I got fluoride taken care of too, and might as well start off with a. Uh, carbon one before that just to, you know this takes the the brunt work of the cleaning of the water with the chemicals and then this does the more fiber uh, the finer micro cleaning of all the other stuff then after that it goes into the next round which is my natural action technologies this is a uh, basically hexagon balls are inside of there and um, uh, about four or five of them in there and this replicates what it does through when the water is going through nature and this also purifies water he said that you could take this thing anywhere uh, to Mexico um, anywhere and just run the tap water through it and be able to drink it and be fine so um, that's, that's saying something right there so if you're able to do that then that's 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 awesome so um, basically you know I got these guys doing the grunt work this did in the microfiber, so this makes really clean filtered water here. Um, but then this does it, brings it back so it's like a spring water, you know. I've, I, and it gets rid of anything else, any memory, and um, so then this goes into the uh, the final into the the cake in here. So I've got really purified spring, clean, fresh, structured water here going into the cake and I don't know if you know much about Kagan's, but uh, just briefly, it splits it up into two. It goes, uh, the main water comes out here, and then there's also uh, wastewater, they call it, which is still good water, but it's not what you're, what you're making at the time. It goes out this thing. So with this, I can change the different pHs. I can get 9.5 pH, 11.5, 2.5, or even 5.5 for skin and beauty. It uh, really absorbs doing that 5.5 on anything on your skin. It, it feels amazing. I um, uh, really like that. Uh, and I'll be making colloidals with that coming soon. So um, so this uh, also electrolyzes this. It, it changes the pH of it using you know electrolysis, not chemicals. So it's um, you know uh, a lot better than you know when they use lye and stuff like that like they do. Um, this also ionizes it. So gives it a high ORP which is one of the best uh, antioxidants is hydrogen um, so uh, this is really really good uh, machine here um, once it goes out the Kagan I do have it coming out and going around this imploder up here this is another vortex system a lot like the uh, natural natural action technologies here but this one is just one big implosion here this is by Dan Winter 
Um, uh, so that again implodes it and structures it. And then it goes through a phase conjugate magnet array here, which um, wipes the memory of water and uh, also helps structures it and you know puts the clusters of the ormus minerals together. This kind of like en enlivens it and you know wakes it up and vitalizes it. Uh, they they call these vitalizers. Um, but this is the imploder that I got from Dan Winter and and then it you know goes to this magnet array which it kind of concentrates it and clears the memory even you know just like magnets do with uh, hard drives they do the same thing to water it clears the memories especially when you have these in like a phage conjugate fashion like they see here where it's north south south north north so they're they're posing but they're they're together that's why they're back and forth like that so then after that, it goes into my Mod Piezo, or it goes right over the Mod Piezo where I'm playing a frequency. As you can see here, uh, just through my Kindle, I'm playing on my Ectec site, and I'm uh, playing the uh, 528 hertz frequency. So I'm getting to be able to play the 528 hertz at the end of this. So it's also structuring, and then you know, giving a little love at the end. Then it comes out. After that, my piezo, it goes through a vortex tube which separates the ormus because this is a, it separates the oily stuff. This rotates it and it puts it in a vortex and the cooled stuff goes out this side and the hot uh, stuff goes out this side for if you're doing air. But for water, the oilier stuff, the warmer stuff, the stuff we want comes out this side um, and the regular water will come out here. These magnets also help concentrate it to get the uh, water in the middle of it so that way it's going in that middle stream that goes out. So the water is coming out and then it finally exits here. This is still really good water, 9.5 drinking water, but uh, the best is coming out this concentrate here. So I might as well get started. I know the video is getting long, so you see regular tap water not going very fast. Takes a minute here just to get it going. Got some of the wastewater already going out. Um, I normally just let the first let it run for a little while too, just to get the water that was kind of stagnant in there out. And we'll get some fresh water here. And I'll show you the difference on the warmest water, which we'll collect in this cup on coming out this side, and then the, the more regular, really good, still structured drinking water is what I call it. I use it for drinking water regularly, and then I get the concentration over here. Let's try not to make a mess. Alright, so that's gone long enough. So let me put this in here real quick. And sorry, I already got so many hands. We'll get it straight here in a second. Alright, there we go. Now you can see we got it filling up in this big cup over here. Let me read this again, sorry. There, now I feel better. Now it's going in there. It's going in the big... Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that. I got disconnected. My phone ran out of, out of space, so I had to delete some stuff and got another video going here. So I just wanted you all to see, I uh, just started it going again, um, how much more of the uh, water's filling up here in the big container uh, for the drinking water coming out the... Uh, the main entrance of the vortex tunnel and then the ormus concentrate coming out over here uh, that's the really good stuff um, gives me the willies I, I drank a little bit before I uh, this morning and uh, I can't don't know if you can tell it kind of kind of gives me the jitters when I drink too much of it, it gets me uh, talking fast and breathing breathing good so uh, definitely it's a uh, it's really some really some, fi some of the finest ormus water there is um, so yeah, that's my setup, and uh, if you have a better one, I'd love to, to hear about it, or if there's some modifications or suggestions. Um, but uh, this is what I'm doing now to make some of the, uh, the finest almost water that I know of. So uh, any water wizards out there, the challenge is out. Uh, see what you got. Tell me if you got any suggestions. I'm all about learning, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, were able to learn something from here from all the different uh, stuff I got. So I'll uh, have the link.